Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Good Molecules Acne Foaming Cleanser, which contains 2% of salicylic acid and it is formulated at a low pH, which is around 4, making it quite acidic and therefore it is less suitable if you have sensitive skin. Now salicylic acid it helps to exfoliate the skin, unclog pores, regulates oiliness and calms inflammation so that over time you can see a reduction in active acne and dark spots. And you can use it in the morning or evening, however I recommend keeping an eye on the frequency as it is quite acidic, similar to a leave-on exfoliant, you may not be able to tolerate it daily right away. If you do so, you are more likely to come across irritation which can feel quite uncomfortable. Therefore I suggest starting off by using it once per day, two to three times per week. Do this for a few weeks to see how your skin is able to tolerate it and then a decrease or increase the frequency over time accordingly to your skin intolerance and needs. If you can use it daily, that's completely fine, just take your time before doing so. And now I want to share with you an example morning and evening skincare routine, keeping the main focus towards Good Molecules products to go over the order of application and some additional tips. For the morning skincare routine, which you can see right here, you can use the acne firming cleanser to not only treat your acne, but to remove any excess oil, dirt and sweat from the skin. Then if you like to, as an optional step, you can include a hydrating toner or for example the brightening toner, then your specific serum, then an eye cream or eye gel if you like, and don't forget your sunscreen if you have sun exposure. For the evening skincare routine, and you have one sunscreen and or makeup throughout the day, I highly recommend using an oil or balm cleanser at first to properly take your sunscreen and makeup off the skin and then head into your acne foaming cleanser to treat your acne prone skin. As this cleanser is not meant to take off your sunscreen and or makeup and you shouldn't leave it on the skin for too long. Then you can move on again to your toner, your specific serum, eye gel or eye cream, and then maybe your moisturizer if needed. You can see those are all optional steps. You can keep the routine very simple or a bit more advanced depending on your overall skin concerns that you want to treat. You have the general guide below. Um, but remember that when working with specific treatments, there are conflicts that you have to keep in mind. Conflicts in the sense of that if you would use them in the same routine, layer them on top of each other, that it can increase the risk of experiencing dryness and irritation. And this would include strong exfoliating acid mask. It's best to not use them in the same routine. Use your mask if you want to use your mask once per week and then on the other days or less likely every other day, you can then use your acne foaming cleanser. Same applies to leave-on exfoliating acid products. Do not use them together. Best would be to just choose one of them, either your exfoliating acid cleanser or your leave-on exfoliating acid product. And then strong vitamin C formulations that contain 15% or more of ascorbic acid. And lastly, please do not use it in the same routine when using your retinol or retinoid treatment. It just is like the, the risk of experiencing irritation and dryness is just too severe, therefore I would not suggest using them in the same routine. If you want to go over the example routines, the frequency guide and the conflicts in your own time, it's all in my PowerPoint with some additional information as well and I'm going to leave it in the description box down below where you can check it out and even download it to your device. However, now I want to keep my main focus towards the application. Now, Good Molecules Acne Firming Cleanser needs to be applied to wet skin, so remember to use lukewarm water to warm water, however, avoid hot water, otherwise it may dry out your skin. And let's get started with wetting the face. Go ahead and use about one to two pumps for your face and a bit for your neck as well and then massage it gently all over. However, remember to not get it into your eyes nor into your mouth. Please do not use it on top of your eyelids nor on top of your lip. And if you have a sensitive eye contour, avoid this part as well. So any area that's quite sensitive, this is where the risk is much greater to experience irritation. So it's a nice foamy texture. Rub it between your hands and then massage it all over your face, maybe your neck as well, for about 30 seconds. And now go ahead and rinse it properly off the skin.
If you're washing your face above the sink and you still have some leftovers of your cleanser, I highly suggest using a soft, clean microfiber washcloth or makeup cloths that you're going to wet, squeeze them out, and then use a damp washcloth to gently go over your face and neck to remove any last traces of the cleanser. Then rinse again. And now go ahead and take a clean towel and gently pat all over to remove the excess water drops on the skin surface to ensure that if you now want to continue with your usual skincare routine that those products absorb properly into the skin and do not get diluted with the water drops on the skin surface can work effectively that you do not come across skincare peeling and that you're not going to experience any sensitivity which can happen in the worst case scenario. Once you're done with your cleansing step, you can stop right here or continue with your usual morning or evening skincare routine. However, if you want to keep it as simple as possible, my suggestion would still be to follow with something hydrating afterwards as dryness can occur quite quickly with such a low pH exfoliating acid cleanser. And this can be just something very simple and lightweight, like an hyaluronic acid serum, or a gel type or light lotion-like moisturizer that's suitable for your skin type and your acne prone skin. As an example, I'm now going to use Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid Serum and apply it evenly all over to add hydration to the skin to combat the dryness. With the serum, I recommend using about 3 to 5 drops for your face and neck. Rub your hands together and then blend it all over until you notice that it starts to absorb into the skin. This would be my suggestion on how I personally like to do it myself. And once you've applied it all over, you're going to leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. And remember, if you're using multiple skincare products in one routine, the order of application, let each product absorb into the skin before moving on to the next step. And remember your sunscreen during daytime to properly protect the skin. Otherwise, for your evening skincare routine, if you want to keep it simple, you can stop right here and leave it as it is. There's one last point that I want to emphasize, and this is that if you're being new to this cleanser, you can come across redness, which is kind of like a flushing experience, and it may give you a warm feeling at the same time. Don't panic at this point if it does not lead to extreme burning or stinging. If it burns and stings on the skin, I recommend stop using the product, it's not for you. However, if you just experience that redness and that warm feeling, give your skin more time to adjust to the cleanser. It happened to me as well. I gave my skin some breaks in between before I started using it again so that my skin can adjust to it and the redness decreased. Now my skin is able to tolerate it much better. So this can happen, don't panic, just give your your skin enough time. And this is what I wanted to share with you. I do hope that you enjoyed this video, that you find it helpful. Remember, you will find example skincare routines and so much more in the description box down below. And don't forget to give the like, share and subscribe for more educational skincare content. And I will see you soon in the next one. Happy skin caring. Bye.